Welcome back to another video on SoundBridge. In this video, I'm going to go over how to use your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard in the event that you don't have a MIDI keyboard or maybe you're traveling and you don't have your controller keyboard with you. This is a way that you can put the notes in by typing and it's actually very useful. It's pretty easy to use but it's not necessarily obvious exactly how it works. So I'm gonna go over all the features of it and how to get started with this type of MIDI typing. Sometimes it's called musical typing in other systems, but really what we're doing is using a virtual keyboard. So the way you get started with this is down here under the time display, there is this button which shows a tiny, tiny keyboard. And then when you turn that on, it activates the keyboard on your computer to play in the MIDI notes. It can also be activated by this character, which is like a backwards apostrophe. That will also turn it on and off. So if you press that, it will turn it on and off. Then when you start to type, this kind of home row here, this letter A is your C note. And then as you play all the way up through all the letters across here, you're gonna be playing your C major scale. That's all there is to that. And then if you wanna do octaves, Z and X. So X goes up an octave. That gives you another octave. Z goes down. And then the velocity is controlled by C and V. So C will go down in velocity. You even see it appear here on the screen. As long as you're in the sequencer view, C, there it's 100, all the way up to the maximum, which is 127. And it, using a combination of those, you could be fairly expressive. Now you also have the black notes on the keyboard and those starting up here above that, kind of oriented like they would be on a normal piano. These are your black notes. So this is C sharp and D sharp here. And then skipping the R, then you've got the three here. And then up here, you've got one more of the black notes. So it's laid out in a pretty understandable way. Now, to get sound out of it, you need a MIDI track, and you also need to have the record enabled on that MIDI track. So if I turn this off, you won't hear anything. You can see that I'm typing all those MIDI notes, but nothing sounds out loud. You also will need to have some sort of a virtual instrument loaded over in the rack area for that track. I've got a piano plug-in, Piano Tech, loaded in there. Then when I turn this on, And it will follow to any track, essentially any MIDI track, where you enable recording. So on this synth track, if I turn off record here and turn it on here, on the synth track, I've got Serum loaded. And you can now go right into recording with this. Let me go back to the piano track we click here to start recording, we can then put in the MIDI notes. And then now we have a MIDI performance. Now, of course, they'll all be the same velocity, but then we have a very good starting point to go in and edit the velocity, correct these notes, 
and a great way to use SoundBridge. If you're on an airplane, you're traveling, or you're just sitting in a coffee shop with some headphones, this gives you a great way to keep making music. Now, one other interesting trick is that if you enable multiple tracks at the same time for recording, you can record or play back those instruments layered like this. So now you're hearing both my piano part and the serum part at the same time. So that's also really fun and useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like to see content like this about digital audio workstations, about SoundBridge and cool recording techniques, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video very soon.